Hello everyone. In this guide, we will look at a quickness harbinger build that will do on average 22k DPS with a simple and easy rotation to use. We are running full Viper armor, weapons, and trinkets. The armor will have nightmare runes. The weapons will be Pistol Warhorn and we will have Sigil of Torment and Sigil of Malice on them. But if Sigil of Torment was a little expensive for you, you can use Sigil of Earth instead, which is a much cheaper option. And the difference between both of them was not huge in terms of DPS. You can get the Nightmare Runes from any dungeon vendor, which you will find in many passes and in also major cities. Go to the second tab that says Armor, and then go to Twilight Arbor. And in the second tab here, you will find Superior Runes of Nightmare, which will cost 120 Tales of Dungeon Delving each. For the food, we will take the asparagus food, which will give us 15% increase in torment duration. And in my testing, this food was better overall than the ascended food. As for the utility, Red of Masterful Malice was the best one. And if that was too expensive, you can use one below it, which is Red of Land Malice. And if this was also too expensive, you can use the Red of Calculated Malice, which will still work just fine. For the traits, we will use Curses 2, 1, 3, Soul Reaping 1, 1, 3, and Harbinger 3, 2, 2. We will use Signet of Vampirism, Signet of Spite, and then Blood is Power with Elixir of Anguish and Elixir of Ambition. Your main source of quickness will be your Grandmaster Harbinger trait, which will give quickness and fury as you are in Shroud. And to help keep it up when you are outside of Shroud, we will have Elixir of Ambition, which will give every wound in the game, including quickness and Elixir of Anguish, which will also give a decent amount of quickness. With those three combined, you will be able to keep quickness 100% of the time without any issues at all. Your rotation to use this build properly will be very simple. Use all three utility skills, Elixir of Ambition, with Anguish, and Blood is Power, both charges. All of them will be at the beginning of the fight, and when you are done, go to Shroud and just spam your skill number 2 with your auto attack, and that's it. Once you run out of life force, you will use the same utility skills, whichever of them will come of cooldown, and on top of that, you will use your skill number 2, 3, and 5 on your pistol Warhorn. There is no specific order, there is no specific rotation, just use whatever comes of cooldown first. Always keep Signet of Spite on passive and don't activate it. One thing to pay attention to whenever you use Blood is Power. We have the Master of Corruption trait which will apply extra conditions on us whenever we use a corruption skill. But we also have Plague Sending which will send the conditions from us to the enemies when we go to Shroud. And so if you found yourself low on health, do not use Blood is Power unless you know that your Shroud is ready to go. Whenever you want to break bar and CC, you have Pistol 3 will stun, and then Warhorn 4 will fear. And if you want more, you can also go to your Shroud, you have your skill number 5, it's a very powerful CC, and also number 4 will pull, which will also CC. In higher tier fractals, this build can be very squishy. If that was the case and you struggled with sustain, we will go to curses and they will change our grandmaster trait. And then we will also use a blood magic and we will make it 3, 3, 1. And we will also in that case use the oyster's food, which will reduce the incoming damage by 10%. This exact gear setup will be used later in a guide coming very shortly for a DPS Harbinger build. If you found this guide helpful, please consider subscribing to support the channel and see more guides in the future. I will now show you the rotation for how to use this build in action. And I will also provide some footage for actually using this build in some group content.